Hey guys, it's Liddy and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna go manga shopping at Waterstones and Forbidden Planet at one of my local places and here we're just having some snacks before we go shopping. So we enter Waterstones here and I was really shocked because they actually moved the manga section and they made it a lot larger so I'm thinking that they're doing quite well and they have like volume ones here for recommendations and I thought it was really cool how they had all these tables set up like they do in the American manga shops like Barnes and Noble and there was tons of manga here I can see fruit basket food wars fairy tale as well and Eden Zero and some dreaming sun in the back and then here you can see Dr. Stone and then I see Devil's Line and I think I see Deco Boku Bittersweet Days and they had Daughty of the Emperor which I haven't started yet Daytime Shooting Star they also had Classmates and here's some more of the things they have Blue Period they also had Business Proposal which I'm super excited about and blue flag as well and I was really surprised at how large the collection had gotten here it was really nice to see even though Waterstones does have manga at retail price it was really nice to see the shelves like stacked like this and see that the interest in this area is getting a lot bigger and I can see Noragami and they had this Augie's Summer Break, which I'm really interested in. If you've read it, definitely let me know what you thought of it. I've been thinking about picking that up for a while. And there's Naoshika and My Love Mix Up. And if you've been watching my videos, you know how I feel about My Love Mix Up. And I can see Mashley, Marmalade Boy, and this one, Milky Way Hitchhiking. Looks super pretty. I know a lot of people on the Manga Dudettes Discord we're talking about that. Then I see Kino's Journey, which is something I know some uh, YouTubers were talking about before, said that it was really good. Yeah, so they had a lot of interesting titles, honestly. I was really shocked at how many unique titles they had, even though it is at retail price. And they have the all the new manhwas that have been coming out as well, which is really cool. And the Persona manga as well, and lots of hardcovers. They also had quite a few figures in store as well, some cute poskets. They really extended this place, so it was really nice to see. And here we are now at Forbidden Planet. As you can see, there's loads of banana fish in stock now, and Alice in Borderland, and lots of 20th century boys. And you can see I'm looking through all the banana fish volumes that are for three for two and I saw Boys Abyss I actually read this online and I thought it was very interesting a bit strange so yeah it'd be interested to see your thoughts on that and I saw Don't Call It A Mystery this one a lot of hype has been around this particular manga series so I'm really interested in trying that out one day and then I saw they had the new volume of Dinosaur Sanctuary. Really cool dinosaur manga if you're into that kind of thing. And here's me struggling to put it back. And then you can see Dead Man Wonderland and also Dandadan. I'm really interested to hear people's thoughts about Dandadan because I heard there's quite a mixed reviews on that. And then Shoujin X, which is the same author as... Uh, which one is it? Tokyo Ghoul? And then I see lots of Fullmetal Alchemist, Hard Covers, as well as Fire Punch, Dr. Stone, lots of Shonen titles, but then we have the Dragons Betrothed here. And Donuts Under a Crescent Moon, which is really cool. I'm glad that they're stocking some Yuri titles. And here I can see some Imakoi and Hell's Paradise. I still haven't found Hell's Paradise Volume 2 in store, which is kind of crazy because I've been looking for it since October last year. So nearly a year. 
and they have kaiju number eight which is one of my favorite shonen ongoing series at the moment i really enjoy kaiju number eight and then lots of jujutsu kaisen which my husband really enjoys and then the jojos and then here we've got some kodansha volumes noragami paradise kiss oshinoko which has been blowing up everywhere and here we can see some solo leveling as well which i also haven't started yet toilet by hanagokun and it, villains are destined to die which atelier water koi and yeah what's wrong with secretary kim which i also have but haven't started reading yet but super excited because it does have a k drama and here's the beautiful cover of villains are destined to die really excited that all these manhwas are getting licensed and then this one looked really pretty i'm not sure what it's about and we have love is an illusion there's this new uh manga by sumo Rishita. and got some mashley over there and i see moriarty down there as well and my girlfriend's child i actually have this and read it and really enjoyed it for the subject matter it was quite nicely done come and can't communicate and then a whole shelf of my hero academia here and then i got my old-fashioned cupcake which i also have but haven't read yet and then here we've got some Promised Neverland, Orange, One Punch Man, some more shonen titles here, and some more shonen titles here as well. And this one I was really interested in, I think this one is a newish Yuri series, which I was very interested in, so I picked that up. Got some Spy Family as well, and here we have some more Yen Press and Kodansha volumes Bloody Sweet, also one that I got gifted by Yen Press but haven't read yet lots of Attack on Titan they also have Acid Town I've been really looking forward to this release so looking forward to reading this one I really like the author's one shots so excited to own that physically and then some more over here The Forbidden Planet actually was quite stocked well this time so there was a lot of new titles as well so it was really exciting to see and then i see the villainous and the demon light i know katens is loving this one so i was very intrigued to pick it up and then we got tokyo revengers as well and then all the dame on this section mxtx novels and a lot of the new ones that have been coming out as well so you can see some of the new ones here and this one is really interesting to every you i've loved before not sure what that one's about and this super pretty art book as well i really wanted to get it but it was quite expensive <laughs> maybe next time hi guys so i'm gonna do a little haul for what i got in forbidden planet in my manga shopping and yeah, so the first one I got was The Villainous and the Demon Knight. This one is a plastic wrap series, 18 plus only. I actually read it the other day and it was very spicy, I must admit. Like, I'm not going to flip through it, but the art style is really good. Let me just see if I can find a page that's not explicit. But so this is kind of the art style. But yeah, this story is basically about Cecile, I think it's Cecile, yeah, Cecilia. It's about a girl called Cecilia and basically she gets uh, reincarnated into an Otome game and she is the villainess of that Otome game and then she basically ends up breaking off an engagement with the person that she was supposedly engaged to but then she actually gets sent to a brothel which is very strange and then this person who has been her guard and knight basically visits her at that brothel and then you can imagine what happens so yeah honestly the guy in my opinion is a little bit of a red flag he's not the most you know 
good guy, but it is, it was a fun read. I'm thinking this one is kind of a little bit, this guy's a little bit toxic, a bit possessive, a little bit violent, but it's one of those guilty pleasure reads, in my opinion, and I'm actually intrigued to find out what happens next. So yeah, if you like this kind of series and you're over 18, definitely give it a go. And then the next one I got was There's No Freaking Way I'll Be Your Lover Unless... So this one I got because it was a Yuri series and I was really interested, of course. I'm always trying to get some GL series and I think it's about high school students. I'm not entirely sure in terms of what the premise is, but yeah, I got it because it's a GL. And then the next one I got was The Skull Dragon's Precious Daughter. This one looked really cute and a lot of people said it was really wholesome, especially a res reversi on YouTube here. She definitely recommended it, so I ended up picking it up. And I think it's basically about a child. It kind of gives me um, um, the girl from the other side. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that. I think she is getting taken care of by like a skull dragon and that's pretty much all i know about it but it looked really cute and it came from a recommendation of someone that i really enjoy watching their youtube videos so i had to give it a go and then the next one i got was imakoi now i'm in love everyone who reads shoujo talks about this series and as you know i'm not like super into shoujo high school romances there's only like a couple that i actually am collecting and reading but yeah i decided to get this to see what all the hype was about and i did read it and i thought it was okay um they actually get together quite quickly which is rare for shoujo romances i don't know if that's a spoiler but it kind of happens in like the first two chapters so i don't really think it's a spoiler but basically i think she gets saved from like a pervert on a train and then he saves her and then she f kind of like starts liking him and she has a lot of regrets in her middle school where she never confessed to the guy that she liked so she was like i'm not gonna you know let this hold me back anymore i'm gonna try and confess to the people that i actually like so i don't ever regret it and so she confesses to him and they start dating and yeah, I think it's just going to be about how their love life goes during high school. I'm sure they're going to face a lot of trials and tribulations and a lot of people getting in their way. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to continue this at the moment. It's not really a priority for me, but if I do see it cheap somewhere, maybe used, then I will pick them up. But I'm not, yeah, this is not a priority for me in my opinion. And then some manga that my husband got, Kaiji number no. 8. This one is one of my favorite ongoing shonen series, so I'm really happy when he picks it up. So yeah, this one is basically about a 30-year-old who is trying to try out for what was the Japanese Defense Force where they basically eliminate kaiju that are threatening Japan. And he ends up getting into that Japanese Defense Force, but he's like really weak and then something happens to him along the way and then he's kind of like them going through what happens with all these uh, kaiju and it's really interesting i feel like i'm not explaining it very well but i really really enjoy it and i really like it because it doesn't have like excessive or any at all fan service which i feel like a lot of shonen titles suffer from that's just my opinion i'm not a super fan of it so i really like this and i also like how the protagonist is in their 30s i feel like we don't see much of that in shonen titles so yeah i really like this and then the next one he got was dan da dan uh this one is a bit of a strange one i know there's a lot of mixed reviews on this and how it's a little bit weird and i did like skim through the first volume and there was like a questionable scene but a lot of people seem to find it funny so yeah my husband's collecting it he hasn't started reading it so we'll see what his opinions of it is when he starts reading it and then he got volume two right ayashimon this is from the same creator as hell's paradise 
Um, he really liked Hell's Paradise anime, and I also have the Hell's Paradise manga, which I am thinking of also giving to him because I didn't really like the anime that much. And I feel like if I don't like the anime, then I'm not sure if I'll really enjoy reading it. So I'm thinking of giving it to him. Um, but yeah, he liked Hell's Paradise, so he's been picking this up. I know this one is got cancelled, I think. I think they're not licensing it anymore or the author is not writing any more of this. So it'll be really strange to see how it just cuts off. But yeah, he's decided to collect it because he does like the, the uh, y- Yuji Kaku's previous work. So yeah. so yeah, that was everything I got in my small Forbidden Planet haul. It's really fun to do shopping in store, but yeah, I think honestly, nowadays with the prices, I have been shopping online a lot more. It is really fun to go in store still though and have a browse at what they have. And especially if I'm filming, I do really like buying something or picking something up. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the manga shopping video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!